Welcome to Sailing Vessel Seeker. Still on the hard year at Patience Camp. Appropriately named. Shackleton was three and a half months at Patience Camp. I'm going to beat his record. <laughs> of course, all they had was ice and snow and seal meat and a few dogs thrown in. Most of what I have to do is get a generator head replaced, but I got a little job to do on this too. And one of them is we got to get ready for cold weather. So one of the jobs is getting this RV antifreeze into our water lines. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty easy job. I packed into the plumbing system here so I can just run a hose down into a jug. Then we turn the pump on and let it pump it through the system. I didn't want to pump it into my hot water tank so I cut the line back here and drain that. Then I just temporarily tied the hot to the cold line. If this works out well, I'll put some valves and stuff in there to do that so I don't have to chop the lines apart. But I do love PEX because it's just so easy just to treat it like a hose and cut it put a new piece back in. And the other thing about PEX is, last time it froze on this boat last year, um, I didn't lose any PEX because it expands with the cold and contracts back. But the heater and all the other fittings and such, I'm not gonna take that risk. I'm just gonna go ahead and put antifreeze in. And now it's just a matter of making sure that we get a little pink water out of everything. Yeah, it's easy to see from the pink where it's gone. There it is. Yeah, that'll do it. It's getting into everything. Okay, even ran it to the washing machine. You know, a bunch of people told me to put expansion tanks on this thing. It's got plenty of hose in the system that I don't need an expansion tank. The hose acts like that. Drain those, shut these off. Have to get a taste for the heads. A little more for the bilge pump down there. That took three gallons. So, got enough to do it again if I need to. The last thing is the rainwater collection system. And uh, that's made out of PVC, so it breaks pretty easy. But we're down in the bow, so that should let everything drain. We'll just take our chances on that. I got antifreeze in the check valves from the bilge pumps, but the one from the rainwater drain system, that I can't do anything about. A little heat tape around it would take care of that. Because we're gonna go to the Arctic anyway. and Need to keep that from freezing. Shackleton would have put heat tape on it. <laughs> you know, I was hoping to be in the Gulf of Mexico about this time and not having to deal with anything like freezing pipes. But uh, here we are. But, you know, it's working out well. Uh, we have our insurance and now the uh, consultant for the port and our insurance agent. Uh, and I'm letting Charlie do it. Uh, they're working out the details of the language and the policy. And once that gets done, we'll have insurance, not just for launching here, but for a year going down the river and so forth. So that's a good thing. Another cool thing is I got to meet Bob Portis the other day. Bob Portis is the uh, guy who was the director of the Tulsa Port of Catoosa for uh, 40 years, something like that. He built this place up from two buildings. And uh, he even tells the story of them launching a boat out here and it's sinking. And they had some guys come up and attach some airbags to it and lift the thing up, take it back out of the water. I think it was a ferro cement. This is way back when, though. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, it does happen. So they're being bureaucratically paranoid like everybody is today. So, you know, we're working with the system as it is. But it's working well, and it's coming along slowly, but coming along. Patience is a wonderful thing. That's why I just love Patience Camp and the story of Shackleton. You know, getting upset about things that you have no control over is just such a waste. So that whole idea of, uh, you know, if you can't have control over it, don't throw a fit. That's working out very well for us. Because, yeah, we could throw a fit right now, but uh, they're trying. They're trying in a bureaucratic way. That's the way they do things now. So, you know, you take it as it is. You know, don't let that upset you. Pay attention to the things in your life that you do have control over. Very stoic. Getting upset about it just ain't the right thing to do because there are so many people that will throw a fit over just any little thing nowadays and it's just it's just silly. You know, it's, you're here to be happy and enjoy what you do and I'm happy and I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Um, so make the best of it and move on. And toward that end, I'm off to Lowe's to get me some fittings to make draining this water lines easier next time. Epictetus was a smart man, lived 2,000 years ago. He said, it's not events that disturb people, it's their judgment about them. And that's right. You can choose to look at the bad side, or you can choose to look at the good side. It's better to choose the good side. Installed. 
All right, so now I have valves to cut the tank off and another one to drain it out. And hopefully we won't have to use them very often, but it also gives me a way of isolating the tank easy. And in this sink, I have hose barbs on these two faucets so I can put a little piece of hose here and tie them together. That way I can move antifreeze from the cold line over to the hot system and pump it all through. It is amazing how quiet this place is on a Sunday afternoon. So that's it from Patience Camp. I never did get that generator head installed. Well, you know what I'm doing tomorrow then. Send us your photos, your inspirational creations. What'd you make today? Take care, guys.